Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11, So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, or Hashem Yahweh Shai, or Hashem Kakadash. Next, double honors to the head of apostles slash elder bishop for great millstone. One that taught me the one to present truth according to the Bible. Safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The gospel people here forbear. And what did the scriptures just say? These words are not going to go out void. The words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, which are the words of the Bible, the King James Version. It's not the 42 negative laws on the yacht. It's not the, um, the Egyptian Book of the Dead. It's not the Quran. You know, it's not none of that nonsense. It's the King James Version Bible. The Lord said His words don't go out void. Everything that the Lord said was going to happen is happening right now, man. It either, it either happened already or it's in the process of happening or it's getting ready to happen, man. The Lord said, what again? But, but oh yeah, it's time to play around. And oh yeah, it's Labor Day. Do you, you Negroes, Latinos, and anything? It's one thing, yeah, you out somewhere cooking out. Got the burgers on the grill, got the hot dogs on the grill, but do you not know, no saying, that this is the end? This is the last day of the unemployment? This is the last day you will be receiving unemployment checks, man? You've been laying on your lazy ass for a year and a half. You know what I'm saying? Going on two years, not doing nothing, but looking at everybody else go to work, laughing, getting drunk, getting high, spending money that you, should, you know you should have saved. You should, the money, the unemployment check that you was getting, you should at least pay, pay the rent with it. You mean you pay the rent with the money that the government was giving you, man. A, a bunch of bug outs, two thirds you're through. That's what the Lord said. Dude, this place is through, man. All right? We're in the last seconds of this place, man. This place is circling the drain. What is it? CTD? Yes, yeah, CTD, a big CTD, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11, so shall my word, which is the word of the Bible, whose word is it? The Heavenly Father and the only begotten sons, so shall my word be, that goeth out of my mouth. Who's the mouthpiece of the Lord? The prophets. He's going to preach out to prove that. This is a quick little lesson through the spirit of your house, but you know, should I do something right quick? Burn some oil, some, um, er, some late, er, um, late even oil, if you want to call it that. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1, the Most High, Yahweh, who has sundry times in a in diverse manner spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. So the Lord said, no saying, these words was going out of his mouth, which means he speak through the prophets. I want look one more precept on that. One more precept on that. This St. Luke chapter 10. St. Luke chapter 10, verse 16, red letter. Lord Yahweh shall I speak with it, even call it Jesus, right? St. Luke chapter 10, verse 16. He that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despiseth you, despiseth me. That despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me, right? So when you hear us speaking, it's not even, when you hear us reading this word, it really ain't even us reading it. It's the Heavenly Father, only begotten Son. Lord Yahweh shall I speak it through us, man. All right? So going right back. Isaiah 55 and 11. And it reads, so shall my word be. They go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. It's like when, when the prophets, when Jeremiah was on the scene, and the prophets before him, they prophesied, right? They told you what was going to happen before it even happened. Those words didn't go out void. Those were, when, they, when they prophesied against kingdoms, you know I'm saying, countries of war, of evil, and of pestilence, guess what? It happened, man. And if it didn't happen the day that they prophesied, it happened after, you know what I'm saying, or years later. But what happened, though, it eventually happened, right? So everything that I'm reading right now is going to eventually happen. But, 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 yeah, it's time to party, right? This is most definitely not the time to ignore the words of prophecy. This is the time, this is time to, to take heed to prophecy. And I want to hold that revelation, too. Since the Lord had me think of that. These words do not go out void, right? It says, um, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Just like when you read um, the book of Isaiah. And I'm just flowing through the Spirit. And in, in, in another book of Isaiah, which I get it. Let's just get it. Everything we say, we back it up with a scripture. This is Isaiah. And this most definitely, this scripture right here is most definitely reverent. You know what I'm saying? In these times, like a couple of days ago, right? 
Isaiah 29, 6, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, with thirf, look, look, with thunder, and with earthquake, and great noise, with storm and tempest, and the flame of the fire. fire. Now this, this scripture right here, you know what I'm saying? It's jumping off the pages as I read it. See, you see enough devouring fires. You see enough tempests, which is a mighty storm. You see thunderstorms. You will definitely see earthquakes in diverse places. This scripture right here is literally jumping off the page. Maria, but the Bible is fake, though, right? Are you serious? These words don't go out void, Israel. Better take heed. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise. You get reports of that uh, tornado coming through certain people's towns or whatever. They said it sound like a locomotive, man. I'm saying, they said it sound like a train, a freight train, man. You see? Look, look, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. You saw that storm that went through Jersey. You know what I'm saying? In New York. You know what I'm saying? And Louisiana. You saw what happened, man. Let's jump over. Isaiah 28 and 2. Behold, the Lord have a mighty and strong one, which as, which as a tempest of hell and a destroying storm did that not happen a couple days ago a destroying storm as as a flood of mighty waters overflowing shall cast down to the earth man that, that's exactly what happened a storm the lord brought a storm look look, look with mighty waters a flood of mighty waters casting down the lord cast it down man i'm saying the lord opened up the flood gates man you know we can't even fathom how it was during Noah's times when it, when it actually, the earth actually flooded. They said, you know what I'm saying? Um, the equivalent of three days worth of rain came down in like an hour. Come on, man. That's your how about Shimmy. I was shot all day. Once again, these words ain't going off board, right? One, one more. One more. Psalms. Salakia. Psalms. Psalms 83. The Lord, the Lord is strong in America, you know what I'm saying? But you got these false prophets telling you, you know what I'm saying? Let's put our money together and build a community type. And the Lord is Lord, the Lord destroying this place, man. You see? Salakia. Yahweh Bashim is destroying this place, but oh yeah, let's build a community type. I, I look, look, Psalms 83 and 15. So persecute them with thy stone. Persecute them, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Let's get that definition. Persecute. I will persecute is a verb. Subject someone to hostility or ill treatment. That's what the Lord just brought upon two thirds and you heathens, man. Ill treatment, man. He's persecuting you with these storms, with these tempests, with the flames of the fire. fire. Cali ain't, ain't got put. Cali's still on fire, man. People, people grabbing those same little coats and jackets and hauling that little pair of shoes, some flip flops, and hauling ass out the house, man. Barely survive. You can't grab the refrigerator. You ain't got enough time to load the refrigerator or your brand new appliances, your, your Game Boy, you know what I'm saying, your um, PlayStation 5 or whatever version is out right about now. You ain't got time to grab the damn wires or nothing, man. The Lord just burning every damn thing up, man. What it say again? Persecute. Subvert. Subject someone to hostility or ill treatment. This is what happens when you don't take heed. Oppress. Victimize. Mistreat. Punish. You see? Afflict pain, suffering, torture, torment. Harass or, or annoy someone. Yeah, when your damn house is being flooded with, with mighty waters and you can't do nothing. Can't damn, you sure don't can't grab a bucket, you know what I'm saying? And try to, you know what I'm saying, pull it back out the window, you know what I'm saying? Because the water coming through the window, through the front door, through the back door, you know, through, through the ceiling. It's all being orchestrated by the God of the Bible. Yeah, how about Shimei Al So let's go back. Psalm chapter 83. Verse 15, so persecute them with thy tempest. But remember, it was all good just a week ago, though, right? Remember, the words of the Bible was fake. Remember, look at those guys out there in the corner with those dresses. They bugged out. You know what I'm saying? They need to be in a psycho ward in a padded room. Remember that nonsense? Remember, every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account of their love in the day of judgment, right? So persecute them with thy tempest, which is a mighty storm, and make them afraid with thy storm. Make them afraid. Don't don't um, put a smile on their face. Make them afraid you have a brush you know, shot with that storm. Now, 
Only thing you see on the news is no saying when they when the damn drone or the plane ride past the whole community of houses. No saying what you got big ass bags full of stuff that got destroyed during that water. You know, people made that's why the scriptures say uh, store up treasures in heaven and not upon earth, man. Yeah, these people are too busy storing up treasures on earth like ain't, like it's gonna always be there. No, man. Reno filled their faces with shame. Especially you Israelites, Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans that didn't acknowledge the words of prophecy, that didn't acknowledge the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, filled their faces with shame. And you, you false prophets ain't seen nothing yet either, man. The Lord's gonna visit you. Got our people throwing some take Maxine waters, going on a date with Maxine waters, right? You know what I'm saying? Drink the serpent's piss and all that, right? You know what I'm saying? The juice, the juice, the J-U ice, just drink it, right? The Lord gonna make you drink some. And it's called judgment, yo. Fill their faces with shame. That they may seek thy name. Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, O Lord. Let them be confounded in trouble forever, a period of time. Yea, let them be put to shame and punished, man. And punished. That men may know that thou, whose name alone is Yahweh, are the most high over all the earth. Because the scriptures tell us what? Let's go to let's go to the 96 verse chapter. This is on Psalm chapter 96. Verse 4. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Now I tell you in the scriptures, tremble at my words. When the words of Yahweh Bashanel shall come out, we're supposed to tremble, man. Alright? We're supposed to have a healthy dose of fear of the God of the Bible, man. Play around around what? I, I, I barely can um, fix that statement to, to come out my mouth, man. Play around what? Who, who in their right mind would play around with, with a power that created the heavens and the earth? Are you serious? That, 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 that's like mind-boggling anyway. You know what I'm saying? That's some flesh. That's some ash. We'll play around with its creator, man. Like he won't smack the ass down to the floor, man. Once again, Psalms 96 and 4. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods, because why? It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. So why play around, man? Get the real brain, the storms, the earthquakes, he controls if you're homeless, he controls if you got food on your table, he controls if you're breathing, if you walk around. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. I know I was reading on uh, William of Solomon, um, the 16th chapter, last night, through the spirit of your house, but Shemel Shad, was going to how the Lord made it dark, you know what I'm saying, in Egypt, to where, you know what I'm saying, people was dying just off the fear of of, of, of not seeing things. You know what I'm saying? Just giving up the spirit, man. You know? I'm just hearing sounds, man. This is a power you do not want to encounter, man. This is for all the gods of the nations of idols. But the Lord, Yahweh, made the heavens, man. You see? But, oh, yeah, let, let's play around with him, right? Let's play around with his servants, man. Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. You see, you believe in everything that you're reading. Blessed is he that readeth. You look up that word, blessed is pretty much going to, um, blessed is, blessed is he that understand what he reads. And, and, he, and he's watching, and he's occupied in prophecy, man. Somebody tell him something, oh yeah, I believe that's going to happen. That's, that's sure enough going to happen. You ain't like, man, it ain't going to happen, man. My dad and my grandma, my great, great, great grandma and a thousand great, great grandmas, they, they've been speaking about that, no said for the long and it ain't come to pass. Do not come out your mouth and say that, man. Once again, Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand. See, we're living in a time where the Lord's getting ready to visit the place which he made. But before he started visiting this place, he's going to bring storms, earthquakes, fires, famine, death, destruction, uproars of the people, martial law, the hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble, you know what I'm saying? Missiles, chariots, you name it, man. Oh, yeah, the love of many waxing cold, great tribulation that has never been seen on the face of the earth. Remember, these words don't go out void. Are you still playing around? You know what I'm saying? You better make it mandatory. You know what I'm saying? That you, that you um, go holler at, you know what I'm saying, um, Vanessa Williams and, um, and Maxine Waters. But oh, yeah, let's play around with the Lord, right? The, the scriptures tell us to seek the Lord. I said I want to get that Jeremiah. But the these words are literally jumping off the page. But let's get this, though. Jeremiah 
chapter 30, verse 24, the fierce anger of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall not return, man. See, that's what's going to come upon you people, the fierce anger of the Lord. Loud motorbike. A whole lot of you people, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got nothing to, to, to go to. Like, pretty much, you ain't got nothing to want as, as fall enters and as winter comes after that, man. You know, the Lord that tore your damn house up, you know what I'm saying? Flooded your whole crib out. You know what I'm saying? You know, people, you people are through, man. You Israelites, you two-thirds that didn't take heed to this word, you are literally through. What does scripture say again? And the Lord said, look, I'm going to bring these evils upon you and you ain't going to be able to escape, yo. Look, look, choose you this day who you're going to serve. You already chose it already. Because remember, they celebrated New Year's Eve. They celebrated, um, uh, what was the Easter bunny? They celebrated Easter, you know, President's Day. They Look, uh, this weekend they celebrated Labor's Day. They, they going, they're having all these different African-American festivals, you know what I'm saying, these Latino festivals. The only thing they're doing is promoting wickedness. Uh, oh, yeah, um, the um, so-called Mexicanos, you know what I'm saying, uh, they celebrate now. Uh, what is it, uh, La Morta? I think that that is the the worship of the dead, dressing up like goons and goblins and all that, celebrating the dead, man. You got the majority of our people into that witchcraft and all that, and Lord gonna visit you, man. What does it say again? Jeremiah chapter thirty, verse twenty-four: The fierce anger of the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh shall not return until He have done it, until He have performed the intents of His heart, meaning His mind. In the latter days, you shall consider it, man. That these folks probably taking a 501c3 charter. You know what I'm saying? Most of them are uh, Masons. You got these Israelite groups, you know what I'm saying? They, their leaders are Masons, man. You know what I'm saying? They took the Hippocratical Oath, man. And they made an oath with the government to teach lies to fool the people. And look, like the Lord ain't going to visit them. Hold on. Let this incense bear with me. Some frankincense and mirth incense through the spirit of how by Shemiah was shy. Let's get this St. Matthew. That's what I probably call this one. Uh, the words are jumping out the page, baby. Literally. Let's get this Luke first. This is St. Luke chapter 12. St. Luke chapter 12, verse um, 49. St. Luke chapter 12, verse 49. Red letter. What the English called Jesus speaking, Lord Yahweh Shai. A little so called black man. I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it already be killed? Lord Yahweh Shai said, Look, I'm coming to bring fire. What I'm going to do? Because this place going to be on fire already. I'm going to bring more fire. The Lord is coming to bring more fire. You got more chariot sightings. Apostle Gabar did a beautiful video. You know what I'm saying? As always, through the spirit of Yahweh but you know, Shai, all the apostles, man. On the chariots, on how Lord Yahweh Shai is coming back with the multitude of angels to blast this place to hell and back, man. I had to calm myself down just to do this lesson because I was so hyped, man. All the apostles, man. Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gabar, Apostle Rakab, Apostle Ramlab, the elder bishops, the other elders on down, the men on down, the Noah's brother, everybody pushing in this work for Yahweh by Shemel Shai. But you got these other Israelites who's trying to become rap stars. And we ain't jealous of none of you knuckleheads, man. We ain't jealous of none of you ninjas, man. We're content with what we got. Give us this day our daily bread. When we're seeking salvation, man. You see? What the Lord say again? St. Luke chapter 12, verse 49. I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will lie if it be already kindled? You know? Jumping down 51. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division, man. And look, is, is that not happening? Is that not happening? For from thenceforth there shall be five in one house divided, three against two, and two against three. The father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father, the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother. The mother in law against her daughter in law, and the daughter in law against her mother in law. Is that not happening? Is that not jumping off the pages? Is it look Israel? Is that not jumping on the page of the scripture? Say, look, walk circumspectly, not as fools, redeeming the time. Why? Because the days are evil. We're not we're not ignorant of Satan devices. So what if some don't believe? Let's get that same Matthew right quick. I'm gonna wrap it up in a few because it's getting kind of dark already. Seasons are changing. The seasons are changing. The disciples asked Lord Yahweh, "When are you gonna come?" And he gave him clues. He gave him clues. 
He didn't give him the date, he didn't give him the hour, he didn't give him the month, he didn't give him the year, but he gave him clues to look out for, right? St. Matthew 24 and 6. And you should hear wars and rumors of wars. That's jumping off the pages right now, right? See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. You got that going on. You got race wars, class wars, civil wars. This continent against this continent. You know what I'm saying? This country against this country, against that country. You see? Race wars, class wars, civil wars, economic wars, everything that we always name through the spirit of Yahweh, but Shemesh is happening as I read these scriptures. This the words are jumping off the page, man. It says, um, and there shall be famines and pestilence. And look, you see what that water did, the floods did? Shut down grocery store, you got people standing in line for hours, man, just for the bare necessities, right? You know what I'm saying things that they took for granted uh, two weeks ago that they're, they're begging for right now, man. Like like just just some hot cocoa or a uh, um, uh, comfortable bed. You see how fast things can change for you, man. You see things that you take for granted, they'll snatch that shit from you, man. Straight up, man. And there should be famines and pestilence. And earthquakes in diverse places, all these are the beginning of sorrow. So, so the earth ain't seen nothing yet, mainly America, man. America's about to be worse than any third world country out there, man. You thought these third world countries were really suffering, didn't, didn't really have nothing. America's gonna go through that plus some before the Lord destroy this place, man. Before you have a watch now, try to destroy this place. Look, man. You'll see. You'll see for everybody that mocked and scoff. Remember. It ain't gonna be no remedy for you. What's this? Yeah. So rock chapter eleven, verse fourteen, prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches, come of the Lord. Is that scripture not jumping off the page? Look, look, is that scripture not jumping off the page right now? You see? What does it say again? Prosperity now. There's people on the earth that got things right about now. You know what I'm saying? It says and adversity, there's people on the earth that's going through pure hell right now, right? Look, life and death, you got people on the earth living, right? You got some people that died, right? They left this earth, right? Poverty and riches, you got people on the streets right about them. Hell, look, look at Skid Row. Oh, yeah, but America, no, St. Thompson, we need to go to these other countries and help these other countries because their people are suffering. Their pe there's people homeless on the streets. They, they ain't eating and all that. Ninja, look at your backyard, Ninja. Sleazy, you're, you're the biggest hypocrite known to mankind. You'll you go way across the country, you know what I'm saying? Tell some you here to help somebody. No hell you ain't. Look, the scripture tells me when you say peace, destruction happens, man. I'm going to help these people in these third world countries. Well, hell, go down the Skid Row. Go to any major city, you know what I'm saying, uh, to the downtown area. And, and look at the park. Go to the park or go to, to anyone. Every time I ride, up, ride past a bridge, all I see is homeless people, man. Look through the damn world and shit. Tents every damn well. Tent cities everywhere. All over Raleigh, man. All over Raleigh. Tent cities. Oh, yeah. We're going to go help these people out of, um, out, of, out of the country. Damn hypocrite, man. But all that comes from the Lord. Whether you got a roof over your head. Look, look. Whether your crib flooded out. That came from the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Or whether your crib was preserved. All that came from the Lord, man. Once again. It's a lot. Chapter 11, verse um, 14, prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemel Shai. And, and, and that's literally jumping off the page. You see? You, you remember Jeremiah said, Jeremiah said he prophesied against countries and against kingdoms of war, of evil, and of pestilence, man. Second Ezra, let's get second Ezra, this is my last one, I'm going to wrap it up, it's getting pretty dark. Turn this light on right quick, it's getting pretty dark, no, I'm going to read one more after this. Bear with me as well, turn this flashlight on. This second Ezra chapter 15, verse 1, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, tell them what's going to happen before it even happens. My people, the Israelites, regardless if they hear for bear. Just like he's, what Ezekiel say? They're going to know that a prophet looks, speak unto the children of Israel, regardless if they hear for bear. And I'm just roughly paraphrasing. Regardless if they hear for bear, because they're going to know that a prophet had been among them. When, they, when they, in the end, all be it all, our people going to know that a prophet had been among them, man. 
that's going to be too late. Read no, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imagination against thee. These people want something to happen to us so bad, so they want to hear the words of privacy. You know what I'm saying? They want our YouTube channels taken down. They want us off the streets just so they won't have to hear the Bible no more, right? Because it condemns these wicked bastards, man. It condemns them, man. It condemns all their wickedness, man. That's why they want to lower your shite off the scene. Because he testified of it that the works that were that up was evil, man. You see? It says, Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity, meaning unbelief, of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfavorable, then you got that dude, you know what I'm saying, rapping there. Tell some GMS was um, um, jealous of him because he, he was riding in a Benz. Get the hell out of here, man. So carnal, man. So carnal. We're thinking about new bodies, man. We're thinking about the kingdom of heaven. We're thinking about rest. You know what I'm saying? From this devil. You know, and then they, they, they probably going to be pushing Maxine Water soon, come too. You know what I'm saying? All these Israelite goose is paying up. All of them going to start pushing Maxine Waters. You know what I'm saying? All of them going to be pushing, um, what scripture is that? The 13th chapter. I forgot what book is there, you know what I'm saying? But they're going to be pushing the 13th chapter. Brothers know what I'm talking about. Comply, comply. What does scripture say? Don't worry about the incredulity, the unbelief that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. That's jumping off the page. The sword, which represents destruction, famine, death, and destruction. All that is jumping off the page, right? For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled, man. The Lord said he ain't going to hold his tongue no more. You know? Let's get, let's get ready to show no go down. I got, I got one more, and then I'm going to end it. I got one more salaki. I didn't mean to shine a light into the screen. I'm trying to multitask. Remember, Israel, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, Israel. You, you know what time it is. Let's get this before I get my last one. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 2. Now remember this, Israel. It is better, which consists of these so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americanians, right? It is better to go to the house of mourning. Did they go to the house of feasting? For that is the end of all men. And the living were led to his heart. Now, when you're doing all that partying, club hopping, you're not focused, you're not paying attention. I, 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 is supposed to be single. You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to be distracted of the cares and affairs of this world. There ain't nothing wrong with hitting a bar every now and then. Getting a little drinky drink. But don't let that be your, your, your mind state. Shit is going down right about now, man. Straight up, man. You know? What say the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. And the Lord said, look, the, um, it says the day of the Lord is cruel, full of anger and wrath. You know what I'm saying? And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it, right? Jumping down to four. The heart, meaning the mind of the wise, is in the house of mourning. But the heart of fools is in the house of mirth now. Which Israelite group is in the house of, of house of mourning? Just pushing these videos, staying locked in. And which Israelite groups are, are in the house of mirth? Every time you see them, they party. You know what I'm saying? They, they're in a strip club or something. They, they just everywhere, you know what I'm saying? What, what, what two-thirds at? They basically, you know what I'm saying, two-thirds with fringes on, man. You see? Fringes and garments, man. And then, look, there ain't nothing wrong with having, having a weapon, but why would you go teach the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shai and carry a weapon with you? I thought the Lord was your protection. I thought the Lord was your shield and your buckle. I thought you trusted in the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Now, going right back to um, um, Nahum 1 and 7, the Lord said, I know all of those that trust in me. I know who I know who faking too. I know who acting like they trust in me. They use my name, but they don't, they, they don't trust in me. They trust in their boat. No man has ever been delivered by his bow, and no man has ever been delivered by his own strength, man. All right? The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. So keep mirthing it up. Keep mirthing it up. Judgment coming, though. This is uh, my last one, Isaiah. My last one. If anything, they judge of us, if any damn thing. Isaiah 34, 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, which is the Bible. 
No one of these shall fail. Why? Because these words don't go all void. No, no one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. Why? Because the Bible stands alone, right? None shall want her mate for my mouth. It hath commanded, and in spirit it hath gathered them. Now, who's the mouthpiece of the Lord once again? The servant of the prophets, man. You know what I'm saying? And the spirit of the Lord is what's gathering the, the elect of the nation of Israel. The Lord willing to be part of that hopeful number, man. So just something quick through the spirit of your house, but you know, the Lord willing to be elect was edified. Pretty much, you know what I'm saying? The words are jumping off the page. The words are literally jumping off the page, Israel. Stay in tune. Stay locked in. Stay locked in. Stay away from the juice too. Constantly pray to Yahweh by Shemel Shai. And always, Lord's will this and Lord's will that, right? Lord's will this and Lord's will that. Lord's will I do this and Lord's will I do that, right? I ain't gonna be the dead horse, Shalom.